at uh, at West Side. So when I see my kids come in, I'll, I'll shift it. Uh, child got raped right there in school. Don't worry, I'll pick it up on Sunday when I see them. Uh, but I got grandparents here. Pray over your kids. Amen. Amen. And we have to. have to warn our teenage girls, you can't be saying yes in study hall and then no in the hallway or in the stairwell. Shouldn't be saying yes at all. Ain't nobody raping nobody in the library. There's too many people there. Okay, but we'll deal with it. When I, when I, some teenagers come in here, I'll just shift gears. Y'all know how it is. Uh, Book of Jude. I saw a celebration of um, the latest here at Tech where they, the pallbearers marched in, danced, basically did a dance in, lifted up his casket, and then two stepped out. Y'all know that don't mean nothing? When you die in heresy. Man, these folks, but, but, but in Matthew chapter 24, these things are going to happen. That's one of the signs that KT says as an assignment that this has to happen, but it doesn't have to catch you up. So this is quick. Uh, in Revelation, in Jude, we'll go to Jude first because Jude went off. Jesus had a brother. He went off, off. Uh, and I believe I read somewhere where he meant to write about something encouraging, but he had to go off. Yeah. What does that tell you? This, this, you have to, there's things you have to deal with. You have to deal with them. So we get with Jude, then we'll end up in Revelations. And, and man, if you missed yesterday, you missed a continuation. And something else happened today. I'm just waiting for confirmation. You cannot be a blessing to somebody's house and a blessing not hit your house. And uh, I'm just waiting. If I get a text, I'll, I'll announce it. But it's, it, it's, it lines up with what's happening. And the people that took the picture. So let's just use Coco. Okay. Last week at this time. Amen. Last week, last Wednesday, her income double. Amen. And I don't think that's the end. I told both of them standing there, look for it. I gave them a little number, which is the confidence. I said, Alex, you knew anyway. Uh, Look for that to double. Uh, I, 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 this, this is too good to hold. So, out of the blue, I know anything about NIL is athletics. De Devin calls me, and uh, I don't know what's going to happen tonight, but they about to make him an offer to stay at Oregon. And it's around what his mama helped somebody else get. That's, that's all I'm going to tell you. Uh, now, I know, I know y'all Momaha. Your reaction time is slow because of jealousy and envy. Huh? Even if it falls a little short, I don't think it will, but I'm waiting, huh? And man. Ain't nothing wrong with making six figures at 19 years of age. <laughs> I told y'all. Yeah. Whatever it is, it'll be more than anybody else here made at 19. But I think. That was today. I'm just waiting for the text. Matter of fact, I think I'll text here. I think I text here. 
Bishop, can you talk? Yeah, we can talk about a 19-year-old making six figures. Anytime. Legally. I say that because some of the little boys that got killed had more than that. In cash. So it wasn't a whole bunch of folk crying at their I know they was looking for that money. Huh? Anytime somebody kill you at 10 in the morning, 9.30 in the morning in your mama's house. Devin's way is the best way. Let me text him while y'all try to find the book of Jude. <laughs> One right before Revelation. Uh, yeah, help him. Help him, Creighton. Help him, Creighton. <laughs> but all this is going on. So Coco at this time, Coco in this time is her income doubles. Okay. Then yesterday, her husband, and then on Sunday, catch y'all up. We is watching the game, talking crazy to each other, as we always do. And I get a phone call. I'm thinking we were talking about the game. And it was Marcus saying his wife simply went to a Chinese place. And somebody was speeding in the parking lot. lot. Side swiped her in the door, in the passenger side. T-boned her. I said, look at here. What a response. So my interpretation is that 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 move that came sweeping through on that side must be somebody else over there. It's it's a whole lot of a lot a lot a lot a lot of going on because that was a quick response a few hours later. So a response begats a response. The girl didn't know it, but when she hit her, she opened up a way for her husband, the woman with the double income with the six-figure husband, to go get her with his money. (laughs) And buys her a Range Rover Sport. That's her car. Had nothing to do with the, she ain't even got her first check yet. That's, That's a husband saying thank you. Now, you know good and well when you marry and y'all got one car and your child has is in sports, that's an argument waiting to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an argument waiting to happen. Yeah. All right. That was yesterday. Now, I'm just waiting for. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. He answered me right away. <laughs> I was close. Oh, I just. He's talking to his mother right now. <laughs> uh, this is in this church. Uh, y'all. Yes. Uh, get you. Pick it up at verse. Four. Uh, four. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to tell you what kind of church we want. Uh, the, the church we want, I can tell you ahead of time, is the Philadelphia church. Right. All the other churches, he has some good things to say about them. Mm-hmm. And then he has some condemnation for them. Right. Uh, and nothing uh, Carlton Pearson's minions can stop it. Yes. And he had judgment. Yes. Uh, you can cut judgment out of the Bible. You ain't going to cut judgment out of the earth. Right. Okay. Think about that. You can cut it all. All it all sounds good. You take one attribute of God and forget about the rest of him. That's why I study Hebrew because there's 10 parts. Don't look it up. It's 10 parts to the character of God. Right. You can't take one part. No way. And eliminate the others. Yes, sir. Okay. The love of God is so strong. I told you if there was not another part to him, his love, man, he gave his only begotten son, would suck us all up out of here. Okay, yep. that's Hebrew. Pick it up, verse four. So you take one attribute, and and then cause this man to blast. I'm gonna keep saying it because some of y'all like y'all believe anytime you see Jesus, I don't know who that person with that long hair and the long eyelashes. I don't know who that is. There ain't no Jesus. Okay, you get excited. Religion, religious people, religion does not excite me. You know what's real? It's holy living. Amen. Yes, sir. Holy living, repentance, judging oh, yourself. Right. 
That's real. Right. All the stuff, you know. You know how many people, Vicky, hit three pointers and point to God and okay. they go into the strip club? Right. Yep. You ever you, you ever look in the first when a when poor cameraman? You got to be seen. You ever you ever see him scan the NBA first three four row? Right. You got to do more than that to get up out of that. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Women are trying to talk to Jalen Hurt. Oh, yeah. With a beautiful girlfriend. Who's smart? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you got to have more than that. I was telling Devin. I was telling Devin. Oh, man, I got to go ahead. I was telling, I was telling Devin. I said, you, you. Look the situation God put you in to honor your mother and father. Right. I said, if you meet somebody, I get right to the point. If you meet somebody, a lot of cutie pies, while we're, cutie pies go to college and pick up. They don't go to get degrees. They get that. That's extra. Y'all didn't know that? <laughs> uh, I mean, y'all just you keep your head in the sand, ostrich. They go there for that. Right? Yeah, they do. I said, if you meet somebody, you ain't got to be sneaky. Set an example. Uh, she might be there. She might not be there. But whatever it is, I say, you're Simone's hero. That's right. You ain't got to be sneaky, whatever. Uh, how many of y'all know that uh, Pete Diddy's good thing about to come to an end? No, right. uh, no beyond. Somebody said, don't make, nobody wants to sit with him at the Grammys. That's if he's going to be at the Grammys. Uh, right. No, they, wow. There's a reason why he settled quickly. He got more coming with pictures. He got four of them. And if they follow the first person, he's going to be bankrupt. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because they, my wife, they sued. They, there's a way they sued where they sued his company or whatever he had to pay. And those people are going to try to get rid of him. All right? Mm-hmm. So, Devin, you don't have to go out like that. No. Mm. See, this is a whole, and I'm, I'm giving you the figure he made. He said, I can announce it. Okay? Some of y'all holding your breath. Look, I can't help it because a 19-year-old make more money than you. All right. I told you it was going to happen. Right, you did. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> your, your mama can't. <laughs> yes, right. Get somebody six figures right. and then add to it, and they can't offer his mama six figures. She already there. Right. All right. But now her son, he said, I can announce it. They offered him just to stay in school. <laughs> said she's super excited for me. I'd be excited too. <laughs> We are now officially a church. Okay. Some of y'all, please don't have no problem with money because you need some right now. All right. Don't have a problem with what you need. Okay. Okay. We talking about a young man who, who, who we gave him a standard to live by. When he fell short, he got dealt with. Okay. This young man, 19 years old. Just to put a uniform on, folk, and get on the field, they just offered him eighty thousand ah! dollars at nineteen. Woo! Come on. Nineteen years old. 19 years. Just to put on a uniform. All right. So, so what's your point? What's your point? Your point. Your point. You know, and, and, um, he called, he, he sent me a man. He wouldn't talk to me. My point was just live right. Live right. Live right with, with <laughs> no chaperone. Nobody has to watch you. Anytime somebody got to watch you, you ain't living right. Okay. And look what happened. 19 years old. <laughs> And he making eighty thousand wow. dollars just put on a uniform. All right, <laughs> huh? I don't think that's gonna be the end. 
Okay. So their blessings, bless, write this down. Blessings come to you, a house, your family, when there is order. If you got a problem right now, it's some kind of disorder. What happens when there's disorder in your natural body? You get sick, right? You throwing up. Huh? Something wrong. There's certain things that put, you put in your body. Taco Bell with some old taco meat. That they, oh, you, go, <laughs> you up. If, if all you're going to do is stay up, if you don't get rushed to the hospital, you got blessed. Huh? Some mayonnaise that they left out. My <laughs> sisters made a sandwich of mayonnaise, old mayonnaise, and I bruised my stomach muscles getting that stuff up out of me. Oh. It's a real story, right? So if there's disorder in your body. Uh, Bishop Jake broke it out. Disease is dis-ease. Yes. In your mind, there's disorder. Your spirit, disorder. You can't hang around disorderly people. Huh? Uh, yeah, uh, man, I'm waiting for my teenager. Don't worry, I, I pick it up on, uh, on, on, on Sunday. Uh, there's a 14-year-old raping a girl at Westside during school. The boy who's looking out, he's facing 50 years. Then a the little boy doing the rape and even told the police. She said, no, I told Devin. She can say yes four times, but she say no the fifth time. The fifth one counts. That's right. I don't know the little girl. Feel sorry for whatever. You would die. Nobody sends their child to school to go get raped. That's right. Hmm? hmm. It could be a bunch of disorder. Ain't nobody raping nobody in the library. Disorder. You ain't going to school to couple up with nobody. This young man, and they're charging, this is the news, for as an adult. Yeah, a 15-year-old, yep. Now, if he raped the girl, he's going to get raped. Y'all know that? Yeah, yeah. One day his whole life is no longer. Right. He getting charged as an adult. Okay? Disorder. Hmm? Your friends, who you hang with. Well, there you go, right there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Riding everybody around. We got somebody here right now. Thank God. You know what? I mean? My brother, he should be dead. He flat brilliant. But disorder almost took his life. Uh-huh. You smart, brilliant, hanging with dummies. Who want you high? Who, 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 man? That's why when you raise your kid, raise them to be a leader. Raise them to sit in the cafeteria by themselves. Raise them to feel good about themselves. Celebrate their femininity. Celebrate their masculinity. Raise them. But you can't raise a child like that, hollering at them and cussing them out in the morning. All right. You, you can't raise a child to be in order if there's disorder in your home every day. Okay. Thank God he lived. He's here right now. Break away and get order. One day you're going to appreciate order. Nerdy day. This man, you're supposed to be 60 degrees tomorrow. Yeah. In December. Right. One day you're going to appreciate the sound. Huh? A bird singing. You're going to appreciate without drugs. You're going to appreciate calmness and looking at water and being thankful and getting up in the morning. Amen. And taking a big, deep breath of fresh air. No drama. Nobody tripping with you. Nobody looking over your shoulder. Not doing nobody wrong. That's a good life. Order. Okay. Other than that, You can have so much disorder, then suicide becomes your option. Here it is right here. It's what Amazon, Walmart don't sell. Time. 
So we're witnessing a young man woke up today. Uh, all college students are broke, except the ones who play ball and whatever. Right. He going to bed eighty grand a year just to play, sit there and put a uniform on. <laughs> Amen. Because of order. All right. So Jude is saying the whole. Uh, the people out of order, and you say, I got to address this. Yes. If a church is out of order, we got a mess, folks. Yes, if we out of order, you wasted your time coming here. Yep. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even matter. It does not matter if I make you mad as long as I'm teaching you order. Mm -hmm. This is easy. I'm going home, watch the game. If I don't go to sleep, or this might be my night clothes right here. Uh, but if I teach you order, on a Wednesday night, you can learn order in a disorderly world. How many of y'all know it's disorderly out there? It's some, somebody went to UNLV to take some tests. Right. Thank you. Before the holidays. Right. So many are dead. Right. Huh? Yep. Somebody goes to Texas and Texas kills his parents. Then goes around just shooting people. Yep. Thank God for that. Yeah. Uh, what about this church? We got folk ain't never going to sit down here. That's right. That's right. This be the wrong house to bring this order to. That's it. Because uh -huh. they're going to act orderly <laughs> oh, yeah. and, and take you up out of here. Now you got to know that. That's right. Okay. That's right. But the world is disorderly. Okay. You get to come on Wednesday night. The Wednesday used to go to ladies' night at the club. Yeah. Free drinks, a happy hour, which lasted all for four hours. Because <laughs> when you leave here, you walking straight. And then sometimes your homes are disorderly. Your living arrangements are disorderly. <laughs> the, the girl who run the first watch, I got my own, I told you, got my own salt and pepper shaker there. Because right. I don't like, like I said, black folk been grinding our whole life. I ain't got time to be grinding up with no salt and pepper. But you know what? She literally brings out my own salt and pepper. Because <laughs> when I get there, she sits down. She's a manager, so you can sit the whole time. And I speak order to her disorderly life. Amen. Okay? That's why she does that. And she puts them on Facebook and then you call my name. I don't care. But it's what she her she's disorderly. Here's what I tell her. If she comes, she's gonna start crying. You are one of those twelve toe chicks. When you love to some people, see you try to you try to fit in with everybody else. A twelve toe chick is you don't just you don't cheat on folk. You faithful. You got two extra toes that you love with, and you keep falling for five folk, five toe folk, folk not even on your level. Then you get your heart broke and all that. And I tell her that all the time to her face. I bring. Order. Covenant. Huh? Anybody bitty got no bitty blowing your back out, getting the cookies? What other name you want to come up with? Tossing your salad. You ain't going to have no salad. You ain't going to have a salad fork left. You keep it up. <laughs> That's disorder. You hurt. Now, what are they going to do with all your feelings? Then you find out your tears don't count. Nothing counts. Huh? Uh huh? That's why she has us. Uh, keep listening. I'm a, then we got another one older, still getting beat up by boyfriends. Oh, Six years old, you still getting beat up. <laughs> now she tries to come back with a sound try. I'll tell you why I'm blessed now. So I literally leave here. I got to go to my other church. You ain't never seen these folks. And she tell me, oh, I put him out, whatever I said, but there's going to be another one. Because you can put one out, but until your mind decides you're not here to get beat up. That's right. That's what the house of God is for. You're not supposed to be. It doesn't even matter if you came in here in disorder. As long as you get a chance to choose order. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad. I ain't talking about no religion. 
I'm talking about your sense of purpose, why I'm here, why I'm still breathing, why did God, amen. I only got, what, 20 some days left in a year. Folk out of here, car accident. COVID still killing folk. And you are still here. You better break God off some prayer. You ain't lucky. Ain't that much luck in the world. God got purpose for you. He woke you up this morning. Even right now, something is going on in your body. The fancy word is called systemic, amen, physiology. Where, amen, your thoughts, amen, you batting your eye. It's all coming up your spinal cord. You're not at Clarkson. You're not at Bergen Mercy. You're not whatever the new hospital is. You're not at Lakes. You're here. Why? The mighty hand of God. God spoke you into those seats. God had to bypass the drugs you took. God had to bypass the suicide. Amen. God had to bypass the, all your foolishness. Yes, Paul. Thank you, Lord. Because God love is like, He asked nobody. That's right. You ain't never seen God on no Oprah or Kelly Clarkson asking, can He spare your life? Every time you see a cat, you know why you got feeling? Because you got more lives than a cat. That ain't amen. That's because of the hand of God, the mercy of God. You ain't lucky. <laughs> you get a chance to choose order. A disorder kill more folk than cancer. Mm-hmm. You can have a cancerous lifestyle. So what's a 14, 15 year old going to be doing with grown folk one day? Raping somebody's daughter. Huh? In school. For the rest of that. Yeah. Y'all know anything about the pen? They going to get raped. That, that's, that's a done deal. Huh? You can go to the God squad. You can start crying. It don't matter. You dealing with spirits. Ask people to work, man. They'll tell you. Woke up, happened on Friday. Right. Now you're facing 40, 50 years. Disorder caught up with them. Sure Not just them. They got parents. You're getting charged as an adult. Now your parent. Uh, can I man, help with y'all? Christmas ain't the same no more. When you got a four, stuff still in there. A rap, you got a 14, 15 year old sitting with grown men and grown men are looking at him like he looked at that girl. Right, right. You right. can't do a thing about it. Nope. Disorder. Yeah. Now the parents, man, I'm on disorder. The parents have to say, what kind of disorder did we have in our home where our child went to school to rape somebody? The parents of a little girl had to ask. We live in a day. That's why we got so many messed up kids. People don't want a parent no more. Some of y'all can't have parents. Let me tell you tonight before we get started. <laughs> you got to deal with stuff. Right. If your child is too cute to correct, you got your little God on your head. Right. And it's going to cost you. Yep. Hmm? And when I say correction, I ain't talking about no child abuse. You supposed to have fun with your children. and But if something out of order, you deal with it. Okay? And now we got families messed up because of disorder. And Jude is saying the church cannot have people out of order, being out of order, because the church is supposed to be the hospital. Right. Hmm? Where you learn order and have fun. Huh? This boy, this boy, we know him. He ain't, he ain't up for no charges. He waiting on his 80 bands. Read. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly. You know what? I got to get to my heavy stuff. Uh, pick it up in verse 30. Okay. If a grown folk. I, I'm waiting for my teenagers to sit so I can deal with this rape. That's a big deal, y'all. Pick it up verse 30. There. What does it say? You mean Jude? No. no. I can't even see. Pick it up 20. Okay. I'm like those other folk. Ain't no 30 in Jude. No, sir. And my wife like that. See, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but ye, belo- but ye beloved. Mm, 
building up? No, 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 no. Okay. 14. Okay. I can't overlook all this. All right. All right. And Enoch, also the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with 10,000 of his saints. Not church people, saints, read. To execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly. Somebody count the ungodly. If you're ungodly, count yourself. No, no, I'm just playing with you. Ungodly, there's one. Among them of all their ungodly deeds. There's two. Which they have ungodly committed. There's three. And of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Man, if that ain't a rap song, I, I, that's some it bars is. right there. Yeah, it is. Okay, you better hope. Uh, even be a young boy, don't get a hold of that. Get right. Verse 16. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust. And their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. Let me break it down. They can't deal with ungodliness because they ungodly. Mm -hmm. See, one thing about this, but there's no gimmick here tonight. Trust and believe. Uh, I might already say something that your seek's on fire. There's no gimmick here. Right. Hmm? Thank you. And Jesus. thank God, man. I might come out on no Wednesday yes, for some gimmick. Huh? Uh oh, I got two teenagers. It's on and popping. All right. All right. Come on. Read. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of Lord Je of our Lord Jesus Christ. How that they told you there should be mockers. Mockers in, in the, the what? In the last time. Who should walk after their own ungodly lust. Three punch combination. Why well, don't Satan need a fourth one? Because you only need three. Lust of the eye. Lust of the flesh. Lust of the flesh pride and of the life. pride of life. Yes, sir. Knockout punches. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's dealing with leadership here. You can't deal with ungodliness because you ungodly. That's right. Mm. So if the pastor's ungodly, if the members ungodly, why, why are we coming to church? Right. right. Let's, let's go on. Let me go on and sell this thing, make it a theater where it was. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's where you come in through the word of God and learn about a productive life that's pleasing to your creator. Hmm? You can't be so into the what he has created, the creature, that you forget about the creator. Right? Because your lust will mess your life up. Huh? A little boy, he'd rather go to prison over a little girl. And then he tells the man, she told me no. Good gracious. Okay? Right. But we don't want the little girl in that position. How you isolated with him? Where somebody had to watch the door, now he going down. Now you understand. I play. Uh, see, and I know that you know what? Hey, the, the jeans with the holes in them. But the holes ought to be down by the knee. All that other stuff. Right, right. Your nasty music. Your clothes too tight. Your attitude. You got to be with somebody which is a form of self hatred. Yep. On her part, what put her in a situation where somebody thought, hmm. Too social. I got to be with somebody. Ain't nothing wrong with you going through school without no boyfriend or girlfriend. They are worthless. Period. What have they done for you? Use you and make you feel unlovable. Ejaculate in you. <laughs> Go through every opening in your body. You ain't got nothing to show for but low self-esteem. Then they don't want you, don't call you, don't answer your text. You all in there. Then you want to beat up whoever they look, whoever they want to use next. All right. Everybody ain't Cassie. Everybody don't get $30 million plus. They said that man beat her up, broke her nose. His own bodyguard said that. And her beauty, man, she dropped dead from the wound. No surgery pretty. Right. Didn't stop him. 
okay? <laughs> Somebody going to be mad at her. Man, these are teenagers. 14, 15 years old, and your life, life as you once knew it, no longer exists. Somebody's child, gone. Three of them, families, all because of lust. Because I want to experience what everybody else experienced. Well, guess what? Look at the girl. This is crazy. Sarpy, the, the, the mean girls, they all together. It's, to this day, won't nobody talk about where they got that alcohol from. And look at the silly parents trying to sue the, the county whatever, Sarpy, talking about it should have been a bear. Look, let me, let me help those heifers. Anytime you drunk and you doing 90 miles an hour, I don't care what road you on. And the girl, the one girl who was the second drunkest, God, boy, oh man, I bet not run to that child. God, let her live, yeah. live, be ejected from the car. Right, right. What I don't understand, man, then they said, man, you know, people run their mouth. It's a big deal. They trying to hush it up. Place too small for it to hush up. Said she didn't even get on the lawsuit. They making her life miserable. I don't understand the parent of the one girl who was not drunk. I ain't signing up with, man, come on, my, my child gone. Can I help everybody? Cool. Well, the parent could have said, leave them alone. Ain't nothing wrong with you telling your child about their friends. Right, right. They will still, if you got a parent, you ain't even in this situation. Right, that's right. A parent is on your website. A parent has the code to your computer. A real parent. Yeah. I'm grown. You ain't got no bills in your name. You ain't grown. You just musty. <laughs> You may smell grown. You ain't grown. <laughs> I don't understand how that, how that woman even signed off. Hmm? <clears throat> and, and watch this. You off top of the Whatever church, religious place they were going to, you ain't going to learn how to be no bully here. You ain't going to learn how to be no hoe here. Right. You ain't going to learn how to run through no women here. Right. You ain't going to learn how to do no drugs. We ain't going to have you jumping up and down, amen, with something you ain't really got. Yeah. Matter of fact, I told you, I bet something expensive that if you make it in your generation, you'll remember when you were sitting in these seats. That's right. Because the world will lap you up. <laughs> yeah. And all the rest in heavens and rest in power, which is all junk. As the tree falls, that's where it lays. That's right. They got, they got, they got, they got four girls, the mean girls. We all going to Arizona State. Remember, I had a place in Scottsdale. We gonna go down there and party because we the cutest, we the meanest, we the y'all dead. I'm not making fun of it, huh? But somebody gave those kids alcohol. A school that's you know what's going on in your school, don't you? Okay, yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. But do you have enough to walk away from it? Because that child, and, and pretty soon the name's going to be leaked. I bet everybody in the West Side know who was raped. Yep. Everybody know who's raped? Don't tell me you go to West Side. Lord have mercy. How about that? You go to West Side too? You're, the girl that got raped is your friend. My Lord. You want to know. Jesus. How about that for being on target? You know the 15-year-old and the 14-year-old? You know them? I'm going to help you. You knew them. You, ain't go, you, you have no idea. Hmm? Now, if that don't make you get rid of your attitude, all the other stuff, you get a first hand, you will see that their life has changed permanently. Huh? Nothing wrong with distancing yourself. Speaking and walking on. Know what you're here for. Know your purpose. That's right. And there's some perverted men. I wish Wade was here. Who cannot wait for these young, tender, 14 men. Mm. 
can't wait. Here's what you want. So here's somebody in prison, huh? Who got a 14 year old niece, 14 year old daughter? What a man! <laughs> oh, they come coming. A correctional officer alive with a league on break. And le- man, ask anybody. Any inmates run that joint? It's too many of them. Over what? If that don't stop you from being non-social. Somebody's son. You know, people going to hate her because he got friends. Hate her is her fault. Can I help? Can I help these little girls before I go home? Yes. Somebody told him, yeah. Quit selling wolf tickets. You don't even know what you're doing here. If grown folk who are married don't know what they're doing, you don't know what you're doing either. It's your nasty music and everything else. Because you can't be by yourself. And somebody going to blame that girl. I wouldn't know if she walked in here. You messed his life up. If you hadn't been talking, whatever the dynamics are, it all has led to the destruction of some young lives. And neither, none of them are 16 years old yet. And life as they once knew it is over with. What kind of friends should I have? It's not just you. It's some fucking older you can't pick friends. Huh? First, you got to know who you are. Can I help him real quick before I go home? You got to know who you are. You got to have some self-love. You got to have a vision and a game plan for why you on earth. Huh? Anytime you present anybody with a blank sheet of paper, you give them a chance to fill in. You got to know what your strengths are. You got to know what you're good at. And you got to be able to walk away. You got to be so set on a goal and the kind of lifestyle you want and how you want to play. And it starts with your walk with God. Not you sitting in church daydreaming. Amen. I'm sure they went to somebody's place. (laughs) But then they can't talk like this either. A little weak reverend, a little young, what the youth pastor? I'm the youth pastor here. Y'all know that? All right. Yes, you are. And I'm 68 years old. Uh Soon to be in 40 days. I'm 67 and three quarters. (laughs) I'm the youth pastor here. If I see some youth, I start pastoring. How about that? Huh? I get right to it. Supposed to. Mm Mm-hmm. I wonder what, can I mess it? I wonder what would have happened if that girl would have been here and that would have been you out there. Oh, we missing out on, you ain't miss, you, you ain't missing out on nothing. Their life changed. Your friend's life permanently changed. That's why, but thank God, thank God, thank God. All West Side students are sitting here on the front row. Huh? Quit playing with little boys' feelings. Quit. All they want to do is do whatever that little music say do. Quit playing. Yep. Quit sneaking. Come on with it, you ain't know anything about the anatomy. You know what erection is? Erection is blood flow. Old dudes who can't have blood flow, they take pill. It just opens up. Amen. The ch- blood flow. I don't know why you adults is. <laughs> you can't play with that. Can I help them real quick? Even your no sound like yes. You can't put yourself in a position like that. You can't. Boy, we know it, it, it's being a teenager now, boy. You got the internet. You got it. And you got some, you know, can I just help them? You weak-minded. You want to be like. You want you. <laughs> That's a weak mind. Mm-hmm. That's a lack of self-love. Huh. 
You walk around, man, man, I thank God for today. I thank God for who I am. I thank God for my future. I got big plans, amen, for the holiday. I can't wait to school start. I'm like, man, I mean, you could you just walk around not even knowing what's going on. Now, you said something. I'm, I'm going to run with it. If that's your friend, which who's looking at you the way somebody looked at her? Now, ain't, ain't no use me missing tonight. Look, it's going to be on the news at 10. Yep. I'm going to say it in English. Our two West Side students are here untouched. Amen. Thank God. That's all I care about. Yes. Amen. Huh? Because they mama ain't sacrificed for their daughters to be raped. They're beautiful girls. They, but, but ain't, ain't nobody sent their child to school to be raped by no little boy. Period. That's why Jude is dealing with these ungodly people in charge. Because they can't talk like this. <laughs> and then look what Westside does. Westside going to come with some, this is what we've done. Whatever you, because you know it's going to be some lawsuits. Right. Already. I bet some lawyers are calling them, especially that girl. All right. West side gets on there and said, we implemented it right away. The lady was, it was so fresh. She was reading it. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause now they're going to be looking at the principal. Right. They're going to be looking at all the stuff you said you had in play. Where was it? Exactly. Didn't say nothing about the girl, the boy. No, we did this. Now look at, look at the adults. Covering their ground, covering their little job, covering their little 65, 75,000 principal, covering his little 100,000. Because now the focus is on him, not on somebody's daughter. Hmm? Where's the principal? Oh, man, everybody's covering it. <laughs> right there on TV, said a statement. We got this, we got this in place, and we got this in place, and we got this in place. Man, anybody with some sense, like, it didn't work. If you had all that, you're not on the news. I, I know that they sent it earlier. I know I was watching it on, and they was trying to read it. Here's a new release. That How about that? Everybody for themselves now. Hmm? Oh, it's not the first time it's happened, OPSC. They asked some elite. Right. If it's not that, it's some teacher messing with some kids. Right. Sure that's, that's the ungodly world we live in. Sure so watch Jude. I'm not off top. Jude said, if, 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 if this is about the ungodly people who's supposed to be helping folk. So you mean to tell me if the church is ungodly, you can't get no clear cut instruction? You will leave here knowing what I'm talking about. Uh, uh. We can't be ungodly to help you to avoid ungodliness. Is that simple enough? Yes, it is. Because mm -hmm. the adults is all protecting their 401k. But the lawsuit's going to come anyway. And we ain't talking about little money either. Big money. All right? Thank God for holiness. Amen. Not going to church. Thank God for holiness for instruction. Can I carry yourself so young men are in awe of you? You know, it ain't no use me trying to teach this heavy stuff. I got two West Side students here. Let me give you a crash course. Don't we have enough godliness in here to help these girls? Amen. Uh, anybody here remember being 14, 15, 16? Huh? Trust me, somebody here without was raped and don't nobody know about it. 
sitting here right now, was raped. Right. <laughs> Let me just try to carry yourself. It starts kind of early, and then I'm out of here. I, man, you might have told me I did not know y'all went to that school. It's on the news, hot every four, six, eight. Gonna be the lead story. It's the lead story too. Yep. Thank God it ain't Jackson. Now you think, because I watch you, you think we, you nice looking only team, like some little girl ain't approached you. We already know. You ain't got to say nothing. Right. We already know. Mm-hmm. Some of the girl, the girls here was fast little heifers. Mm-hmm. Yep. Said, amen, pimped out when I said that. <laughs> hmm? Mm. Here's how you carry yourself. You first, you're going to school to learn. Yes. You're going to school to yes. be, get your character built up. Yes. Huh? So you start off positive. You're not going there to find out who's with who. And now, man, nothing. You're going there to excel. Is that a good word? Yes. For your future. Because you're going to have to get up out of there. What's the cutoff age? Uh, uh, 19 now? You got, you got 21. No, you ain't got no 20-year-olds in no, no yes, high school. You know. Yes, you do. They're your problem. To stay back. Yep. 21 in high school? Yeah. That's a grown man or woman with a child. Yeah. 20, 20, 20 and 21 years old. You ain't got no dude around there with my beard. Now, it may not be this color, but come on now. Yeah. Yeah, they now, that do. child, good hot baby. That child laughing at it. With my beard. Mess, folks. They stay around. Well, you need it. Uh, yeah, you, uh, you know, I, I know holy jeans and style. You need to go ahead and patch those up. You rhyme with grown men. Right. You got a ninth grader that's 13, 14 years you old. You rhyme with grown men. Going to school with 21 year olds. Huh? Later on in life, that age different as an NBA player right now in trouble. Yeah. He made, he 21, he done poked a teenager. She done went, the family, Raphael, you know, he, he's, in, he's in Africa right now. He said the family ain't saying nothing. Then they went and got this lawyer, which meant we're going to get some money. Right. And the negotiation is probably not on because he made $8 million a year, but he has a chance to resign for, watch this down. He about to mess up. He has a chance to resign for $150 million. He done messed it up over some 15-year-old poutine. Come on now, people. $150 million? And now he's talking about he didn't know whatever, what, man, now, you know what? Gloria, I've been doing this for 30 years. She's been doing it longer than the NBA player been alive. She coming for the money. We ain't talking about no 10 grand. She don't even look at 10 grand. Her outfits cost 10 grand. Okay. Trust and believe that. 150 million on the table because of a 15-year-old. Who got on Instagram talking about I F an NBA player. Now he's trying to back... Man, and, and, and he just played in Dallas. Every time he brings the ball down, they booing him. Right. Now, is his mind ready for that? No. Mm-hmm. That with you. So it's just an out of order world we live in. Right, right. Bring personal order to an out of order world. How about that? All right. You got, who in here want, you got to want order. Can I mess with me? There's a spirit of rape at your school. Sure enough. <laughs> you, you, you need to walk up. Really, it is what it is. I ain't getting raped here. I ain't getting raped here. If I got anything to do about it. I'm speaking to folk. Being, I ain't talking about being scared, whatever. That ain't going to help. The folk, I don't care about you being scared. It's called confidence in God. Confidence. Walk around there, huh? Because little boys, if you, act, if, you, if you ain't thirsty, there's a word some of the old folk can read. Uh-huh. They scared of you. Mm-hmm. Anytime they grabbing you in the hall and uh, putting their hand in loops in your jeans and 
patting you down, feeling on you. It's, it's, something, you, it's something you ain't presenting yourself right. Uh-huh. Huh? Some you ain't. I'm not doing nothing yet, but you grinning every time. You, 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 you hanging around. We should be in class. You always like, man, come on now. Some things don't ever change. You don't walk with confidence. You look like so. You look like I wish somebody would raise something. You ain't. Mm. You, carry you carry yourself. You can't touch this. You can't have it. The best you can do is look at it, huh? And I hope you get cross-eyed because I'm going somewhere. You ain't going to be able to look long because I got somewhere to go, okay? I got somewhere to go. I don't care what's happening here. Now that we got a spirit of rape in the school, I don't want to know what's happening here because it ain't going nowhere, okay? Now watch somebody else come up and say they done told somebody yes, but now they scared. Man, it's a mess there. Parent, I would you, I would, man, I pick my child up. It's a mess. Anytime they come with something after the fact, that means that place is out of control. Yep. Period. You carry yourself with confidence. You let this be a learning, a teaching moment. I don't have to connect with nobody while I'm in high school. Huh? Bur- it's all oh, birds of a feather do what? I can tell you right now, I can go there tomorrow and tell you all the dummies, all the dumb fashion plates, all the smokers, uh, the pill poppers, easy. You can also point out the ones that maxed out on the ACT, somebody that's going somewhere because they, they just... Walk around with confidence. You check all your friends. If all your friends got boyfriends and you ain't got one, you feel left out. Change your friends. Right. That's it. Hmm? That's it. <laughs> Somewhere that child got the nerve to think. <laughs> Even if she met him there and said, I just, I wouldn't plan on, hmm. You don't play with little boys that can't control their erections. It grown men can't control their. Little 14, 15 year olds can't control their. Huh? That little boy didn't wake up thinking he was going to be on the news either on Friday. Hmm? Sure enough, sure now, you know what's next for those, that young mind? Guess, guess what the enemy going to tell him now? Suicide. If not now, when those grown men rape them, that's a done deal. Rapists get raped. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Suicide. Crying. I wish way was here. Hollering. Have you heard grown men holler? Grown men bleeding from their anus. That's the butthole. <laughs> bleeding. Screaming, mm-hmm. on, crying, Bishop. wailing. Come on, Bishop. <laughs> Tell it. The little fifteen-year-old who went to some party in the hood. Her friend left her. I'm going to tell you now, now you listening. <laughs> we go to court, the kid, the boy who did it. Listen, her friend went to some party, didn't know the folk. <laughs> the boy's getting drunk, but you know, whatever. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, they out here. She ain't got her, her friend left her at the party. This happened when the church first started. And the boys that did it, Came to church. They did on a Saturday and came to church that Sunday. I didn't know nothing about it then. Church just first started. They left her at the party. They left her at the party. Pulled her into a room. Somebody put a dresser up to the door. The boy, talk about these sick minds. Don't worry to do who did it, Reap. He was going to pour rum on her and light. And somebody said, don't do that. 
So they put a dress up. She looked around for her friend. Her friend left her. Can I ask you, why you got to have friends in the first place when they buck wild? Left at the party. Put a dresser up. Somebody going to put rum on her. No, nah, we ain't going to do that. So they just took turn raping her. Showed up. They had just showed. Man found out. We go to court. I wasn't going to court for nobody. I, man, my, the, 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 the uncle. And the little girl got on the stand. And I hope your friend tell everything. Girl got on the stand. They said, who raped you? And, and poor little silly black boy didn't even know they're in trouble. Anytime you got an orange jumpsuit, you come in grinning. You don't even know the trouble you in. That's what happens when you silly. Right. Mm-hmm. Come in there, and she, she couldn't even look at him. But I'm sitting on the road, Deborah, and the uncle was there. Boy, 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 boy. The uncle almost lifted to see his little knee. The, he almost lifted the whole bench up in court. Because she's sitting there uh, just a baby. And she turns and she can't half look. And she pointed him out. And the uncle about lifted up the whole bench. And they all got time. And the boy who hit in the raper, but he's the one who directed everybody. Everybody was scared of him. Oh, he got it. You're going to know what I'm talking about. He found his mama. So his mama come to court. Nice looking woman. She looked better than her daughter. She come to court defending a rapist man. Why did he get that sickness? Mm. Where did he get that sick the minute mind? And you want to know why I teach you? Don't be having no boyfriend and all that. Y'all making noise, acting a fool, and your child sit. Uh. Huh? They not teaching this handsome child how to be a sicko. You, I know you got some sick old friends out there. Sick. Mama getting her back blown out, and they making all kind of noises. Then he beating her up, and then mama cussing you out because he don't want man. Come on now. When is a Tyler Perry movie not a Tyler Perry movie when it's in your house? But he didn't see what was gonna happen. That same child is unsolved to this day. Mama going to come, huh? <laughs> and support a rapist? He found his mama dead. <laughs> Playing with men. Where did his anger come? For a little 50-year-old. Was he angry at her? He just saw the child. He saw somebody he could mess over like he watched his mama get messed over. And found her dead, unsolved to this day. Wow. I didn't go to court and say, are you kidding? <laughs> and I don't know what they thought I was going to have. I didn't know these kids. They all just showed up. Oh, and a, a, a girl who was supposed to be in church, only reason why they show, she was going with the dude who orchestrated it. That's how deep grace is. That's how close she came. So what does that tell you? If she supposed to be in church, see what I'm talking about, half-stepping? Right. She supposed to be in church, and the dude she was going with is the one who orchestrated the little girl to be raped and to pour the rum on. Somebody said, don't do that. So much for having another life. Get one life. If this, this might be your thing. Just get one life. Get that one life. Huh. One life in Christ Jesus. That's just not for kids. That's for adults. Get that one life. Not that double life. And that's how close she came. That was her boyfriend who did it. That's how close she came. Wanting to fit in. <laughs> Courtney, your hands are full. 
but I want you to keep on keeping on. Amen. Courtney, these are beautiful girls, but you got to do what you got to do. You got to shut it down. You got to discipline. You got to be in order. It is worth it. You've had three daughters come out your womb. Huh? You tell God, thank you. You tell God, one of them could have grabbed them. I know some other stuff going on. You're going to handle it. You're going to handle it. You're going to handle it. You brought them home from the hospital. They didn't bring you home. You handle it. And Because they are worth it. They are worth it. They are worth it. We could be on the news. You don't even know if the little girl going to be suicidal. That young mind can't take no pressure. Make up your mind you want to walk with God. They're getting raped in college campuses all the time. <laughs> it's, it's the world. Every head bowed. 